visiting Turkey, flying from Delhi to Istanbul, which uh, the country is rich in its history, heritage, because at various points in its history, the region has been inhabited by diverse civilization, including Greeks, Assyrians, Armenians, etc. Hi people, we are in Istanbul. Welcome to Istanbul. We just landed at the airport and uh, so till the baggage comes, I'm looking for the place to get the Istanbul cart. Istanbul cart. And uh, it's a little confusing because mostly people are not speaking English. So let me just figure out and I'll be back with details. Hello, welcome to Istanbul. So we've had a seven hours long flight uh, and then we reached the airport, Istanbul airport at around 5 p.m. We've been waiting at the conveyor belt. Kafi kharab kismat, do ghante se. We've been waiting at the conveyor belt to for the luggage. And apparently, we know that the flight has come without our luggage. So it's uh, 7 p.m. and uh, we've been told that the next flight is getting the luggage. Hopefully, there's no surety. And there are no restaurants around. Uh, you'll have to exit the airport for that. So we're just sitting, waiting for the bags. Still at the airport. Such a warm welcome here. Hi. We're walking on the Daftedar street uh, and uh, we're going to find a place for the breakfast. See cute little cafes on the street. Istanbul has just woken up. See the places are opening. You can see people having their morning tea and breakfast. And yeah. Stores are being opened up here. That's the place that we're looking at, Van Kehwalti. Has really good reviews. We're gonna have breakfast here. That's the place. We are at Van Kehwalti. That's the breakfast bread. Hi, girls. Enjoying their cup of tea. How's it? Uh, I'm I have lunch. I have some, some sugar. Yeah. Check out the breakfast, guys. <laughs> some wrong turns and it's steep it's a little difficult walk no way easy uh, we actually wanted to visit the Galata tower in the morning because otherwise there's a very long queue so now that we walk for a good 15 minutes it's Three minutes walk from here. I'll show you the Galata Tower as we reach there. On our way to the Galata Tower, built in 500 AD, uh, this tower is one of the dominating landmarks of Istanbul. It was used as a watchtower to help defend the city. We are very close to the tower and uh, it opens at 8 a.m. in the morning and a 
massive queue starts lining up so just make sure that you reach here early in the morning in order to avoid the queue there's this entry fee which is approximately 50 liras you see the dog statue here along with the cat nearby just a piece of quick information if you've taken a museum card the tower entry is not included in that and i'm really sorry i mentioned the entry fee was 50 liras it's uh, 25 liras so we were three people um and uh, we checked that will be 75 liras for three that's the stone tower <laughs> Top of the Galata Tower. I can't breathe because we've climbed two floors and a super long queue. But the view, guys. So the elevator gets you uh, so far uh, as another top of the tower, and then it's a narrow, rounded staircase. It's not good for you if you have mobility issue or strollers uh, because the ledge you get it's uh, very narrow and goes one way. We have the ticket for 35 Turkish Lira. Ka. Make sure that you carry Liras because we don't have Euro. Bhi nahi lete. Do, do you like it? What? The view? <laughs> Such a weird experience. <laughs> expression. <laughs> Let's go towards the other side. So you get the panoramic view of the city from here. Just remember your Istanbul tour cannot be completed without a visit to this 600 year old tower. Some of you may think it's too touristy but I suggest the exact opposite as uh, it is outside of the older area of the city where uh, a lot of tourists go. Uh, this is amazing. You actually require some nominal effort to get to the top and uh, be prepared for a lot of steps if you want to walk and it's, it's just the view is surreal. The Istanbul city, my friend. Such an amazing view over the city, and it's just worth the time spent uh, in the queue. Also, there's a restaurant on the top, so if you feel hungry, you can just sit there and chill and enjoy the view. Istanbul is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world. Uh, it's a mix of cultures and background fused together in one city. Turkey's geography makes it a wonderful blend of people and places. After experiencing the beautiful view from the Galata Tower, we decided to take a walk from Galata Tower to Karakoy Street for a cup of coffee. We stopped at Black Cup Coffee for a bite. After much walking and a metro ride uh, and a lot of uh, searching, we finally reached this uh, Sultan Ahmed Mosque, which is a historic mosque located in Istanbul. Uh, it is uh, functioning wherein uh, it also uh, people go there for prayers and tourist visitors also uh, visit the mosque. So there are specific timings. It's also known as uh, the Blue Mo Mosque by many tourists because of its uh, bluish interior and it's uh, one of the most important mosques of Istanbul. Uh, in the old 
city center. The entry to the mosque is free, uh, but you do have to remember to cover your head. Check out this fire hue that uh, pervades its decorations. This was built between 1609 and While the girls are still arguing about how popular the song is and which song is this, let me show you around the street that is full of restaurants and uh, you need to pick a place to sit down, have the most amazing food. Uh, we chose uh, the restaurant named Huzoo and it was awesome. Be it riding their metros, walking on the streets, enjoying the rich heritage and culture and food, Istanbul has been a great experience. Uh, this is thousands of years of history combined with a vibrant, modern and exciting city unlike any other in the world. To fully experience Istanbul takes a lifetime. There are so many corners, nooks and crannies that demand to be experienced. So, but we had two days. So that's how we decided to end the first day here, enjoying the Taksim Square, the vibe, the feel. It's an amazing place to be here.